Diesel, what's up, man? What's up, bro? We're headed, man. We're headed. What's going on? Yeah. I, don't, I don't think you should go yet. We got something for you. Hey, wait, we got something for you that you're going you gonna to enjoy, man. Wait, whoa, 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 wait. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, you need to come to this thing with me. All right, just as simple as that. Yeah, get it. Get him, boys. Get your big ass in there. Let's roll. Let's roll, boy. We ain't got that much time. Let's go. Come on. Go. <laughs> Where the hell are we going, man? Don't worry about it. Yeah. You ain't no worry about it. I don't go nowhere without my security. Okay. What's up, yeah, man? That is a Chinese oh, African yeah, pit bull right there. Don't worry about that. I remember when you when you was with Orlando. This is what we want, Diesel. We, we yeah. want to go somewhere yeah. when ain't nobody talking about you. This could end up being as long as you stand at the free throw, man. Hey, okay, but, you know, what we trying to do, <laughs> we trying to get you, a, you know, in the mindset to get another one of them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so what do you want to do? I ain't talking to you, man. <laughs> this is DC, man. Yeah. This is deep. Tonight we get real, real sin. with it. Real sin. We getting real with it. It ain't about let's put down Shaq Knight. Yeah. It ain't about none of that, man. It's about let's, yeah, no let's raise this. Let's raise this African. This brother, huh? Let's raise this he African this prince. Huh? To the point where he should be. He's a Watu Wazuri. <laughs> hey, well, you can try to get out the door. Okay, well, ain't nothing wrong with him working on a second career. You try to get out the door. Ain't wrong with working on a second career. Sing that song. That's the same yeah. thing he did when yeah. Magic was coaching. See, what yeah. listen? What I'm listening? Well, nobody listen. Get something off your mind. Talk to Mike. Mike, yeah, just tell me. Maybe therapy. It's a lot of help. pressure. Let's something out for you. Talking to people is the thing that can help you. Y'all there, you're trying to sell CDs. Oh, you know you got that, something that, that on your mind. Something Because, you, you know, well, every time you give an interview, you don't have a lot of emotion. You just say, you know, exactly. I just want the ball. That's all I want is the ball. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? No smile. You can, no, this is, Believe this me, you're going to have a good time. This will be the great night, man. We're going to have a good time. You guys have to shut up. No. Uh -uh. Well, we don't plan on shutting up tonight, that's for sure. We tonight is your night. I should check his little attitude. For this evening. I'll check, I would check his attitude at the door. These yeah. cats are here don't miss nothing. <laughs> <clears throat> what? They're on Bill right now. Check out Bill's suit. Get him off you, Bill. <laughs> What'd you say? He looked like a super usher. <laughs> Look at his suit. <laughs> if he smiled, he should have split. <laughs> Just be cool. <laughs> Ask Grady to button that jacket. <laughs> if he buttoned that Grady. jacket. <laughs> <laughs> Now, you got about four seconds to in the building. You're going to take somebody's eye out. Just, just get low. <laughs> Look, my wife dressed me, brother. I can't take credit. My wife dressed me. When I came in, they just blew me up. So I don't even know what they did to you. But I like it. I like it. I'm not mad with you. I'm not mad with you. I'm not mad with you. See, they don't understand people that got their own thing. You got to look at look at Joe Tory with that ex Bobby Brown backup backup dancer suit he got on. This motherfucker think he could wear pajamas anywhere. But he's my friend. hot, this but as we zoom in real close, <laughs> we, we see we have an ex-girl reject wearing, check, the, wearing the latest in Lenny Kravitz underwear. Check out what I got. You can look at my gear. Check it out. I mean, I, just go with it. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing you can say. Now, why does he have one of those boys? But you can see that you can see that same person. Man, he wear you, can, you can see that same person on HBO Real Sex 59. <laughs> same outfit. Handcuffs hey, to yo, match. If you open his shirt, he got a blue tiger, so his pants match. He little good animal so. He's got on suede drawers with a zipper and feathers. <laughs> uh, I, did, I, did I forget the suspenders? <laughs> Wait till we get on this thing. It's time. It's time for the roast. Are you ready? Let me know if you're ready. It's said the entertainer, and it's time for the Shaquille O'Neal Celebrity Roast. It's the Shaquille O'Neal All-Star Comedy Roast, featuring Steve Harvey, Queen Latifah, Sid the Entertainer, D.L. Hughley, Jimmy Kimmel, Dick Gregory, Monique, Michael Collier, Mark Curry, Joe Torre, and Tommy Davidson. Now, kicking it off, here is Bill Bellamy. Oh! Why they pick my ass first? I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Well, first of all, Shaquille and I have been friends for like ever, you know what I'm saying? I knew him before he had any money, and he was just wearing big ass shoes for no reason. Um, 
you know, but he, he's grown to become a great player. I'm just hoping that, you know, he'll come back and play because every year he comes up with a real bullshit excuse why <laughs> he don't, like last year, his stomach hurt. <laughs> and I go, by, I go by the house, I'm like, Shaq, you too big to be telling people your stomach hurt. <laughs> but he said, it, it, it did, it did. <laughs> so, this year, his foot hurt. His foot is too big to hurt. And, but he said he coming back, he said he gonna play, you know. I don't know if he'll ever get the ball, cause uh... <laughs> hey, I'm just keeping it real. That's my man, he gotta get the goddamn ball. If he don't make a free throw, we know the deal. <laughs> he got to get the rock. Okay, uh, he gets too much damn money. <laughs> I want to see a motherfucker break something. Uh, this on PBS oh, okay, well, I would like to see the fella make something. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, I just want to say also, too, even though we're supposed to kill him, you know, he is a really great person. He has a big heart. You know, I'm not trying to get sentimental. I'm just saying, for real, he's a good person. He, he's a big, big-hearted guy, and he gives a lot. He's passionate about the game. You know, I think he's crazy as hell to have a roast, because when you have roast, you have too many imperfections, too. <laughs> I mean, he big as hell. His head is huge. I mean, when he shake your hand, he under your armpit. <laughs> People think he got big cars because he got money. No, he can't fit in shit. <laughs> but he my dog. He my dog. And, you know, and as far as, you know, the ladies are concerned and stuff, a lot of ladies, you know, uh, like Shaquille. He, I hear that he's very huge. <laughs> so it could cause back problems for y'all. <laughs> Because if he fall asleep on you, you ain't going nowhere. <laughs> so that's my time, I'm out. Shaq, I talked to your mama earlier. I was trying to figure out what's the thing with the name. What's Shaq here? What, what, what you thinking about? <laughs> when you said Shaq, you know the kids gonna tease you? Shaq, Shaq, you call him Shaq for sure. Shaq is a, that's a little house, like a house with just one window and, 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 and no door. That's a, this ain't no shack. This is a condominium. Condominium. Not shackalicious. No, no shack. And then, the thing that really gets me is shack, and I'll be honest with you, I ain't trying to say nothing bad, but... Don't Shaquille sound like something you get on the bottom of your foot. You just, I, yeah, it's like, oh, I got right here near the heel. I got a Shaquille. It hurt, I rubbed it, but it's getting better. We were sitting in the car today, and I noticed the shoe. Now, the man's foot is 22. He has on a size 23 shoe. Why the hell would a 22 wear 23? You already big enough. What, why the extra rooms? He told me his toes are all curled up like that, and they have to have some breathe. I said, why you do that? He said, well, when he go out and shop for the socks, he sometimes buy the socks a little too big. So he had to pull the socks up where they just, you know how the heel match the heel? Then he had to fold that toe over. So all his toes, they all bunched up like a bunch of people. They want to know what's going on. So he had to have just a scunch more room, scunch more room. A bunch of people don't know what's going on. A bunch of people, they don't know where they at. They don't know where they at. But I saw your free throw, and I think, I think it's improving. Um, no, you ain't made one. That, that ain't what I'm saying. I'm just saying. You're getting closer to the actual hole, and that, that's what's important. You ain't gonna be perfect, people. Just keep trying. Now, I'm trying to teach him a little something about dressing. Um, he's starting to get it together, though. This, this piece here, this, this, this nice here. I don't know about the cuff thing, but this, this is really nice. He's putting it together, he's coming along with it. The man is making me proud. Ladies and gentlemen, he's one of my heroes, Shaq. My man. Are you having fun so far? Are you having fun? Yeah. You're a good man. This is a lot to take. People just talking about everything. I'm having a good time, so thanks for letting me be here with you, Shaq. All right. We're going to hear a nice little message for you from our very good friend and superstar now, 
D.L. Hughley, y'all. Hey, Shaquille, this is D.L. Hughley, and I want you to know that just because your birthday is March 6th and my birthday is March 6th, that is not why you're my favorite player. You, 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 you're the best athlete in the world, and, and, and I'm just telling you, you, you're awesome, and the only thing more scary than an earthquake in California is you coming out with another rap record. Don't do that again, man. Let me tell you, he the only cat I know that made a record that didn't even go wood. Latoya Jackson beat him selling albums. Now, just stay away from that and put down the damn Krispy Kreme. Now, come on now. Come on. Your arch ain't flat. It's tired. Now, come on. Give it a break. And another thing, I know that I'm talking a lot of stuff, and you can see me, and you could probably jump on me, but I know how to get out of it. I dress like a free throw, and you'll never hit me. <laughs> Happy roast, and not chicken, baby. Go on. Shaquille O'Neal. Shaquille O'Neal. Man, a roast. Man made $100 million last year, $180 million. Cheap as hell. <laughs> Cheap as hell. Flew us out here in Southwest Airlines. <laughs> Southwest. And you know, when you're dealing with black people, the ticket's funny. You get up there, are you in the military? <laughs> you know, let me get a supervisor, we'll be right back. I'm loving the clothes, $100 million. Damn, Geppetto made the shoes. <laughs> Geppetto. <laughs> you don't know who Geppetto <laughs> is. <laughs> That's when you got too much money, you don't even know fairy tale. <laughs> oh, McDonald. Uh, <laughs> and, and, and yeah. You got the silk on. See, on anybody else, this would be a bad spread. <laughs> Cuffs on, you're doing too much with the clothing. When you're seven, two, wear black. Like, you know, I'm six, six. You, you, you're blinging too much. You're blinging too much. Uh, he do like this, he'd be the Washington Monument. <laughs> Wait a minute. I remember one All-Star game, you had the fur boots on and the fur, fur coat and the fur hat. <laughs> yes, that was too much. <laughs> <laughs> I just put it plain. Put it plain. <laughs> Lenny Kravitz was saying, that's too much. Ah. <laughs> Chinese people, Godzilla, Godzilla! <laughs> He's a phenomenal guy. You know, if you look at him, seven foot two, he has a charisma of a man, five foot 11. You know, good guy. You know, he's real good people. He went platinum, went platinum. Seven foot two and went platinum. I didn't buy it, but he went platinum. <laughs> I just wanted to say I'm happy to be here. Thank you, Shaq. And, you know, maybe you could put us on United or Delta on the way back. And he said, I'm going to be staying at a suite. I'm staying at the embassy suite. This is ridiculous. <laughs> so spread the little money, you know. Give it, a, you know, give it back, you know. And, you know, when, and when you get a suit made, put the cuffs on the, on, on the pants. <laughs> All right? And it's all this Flintstone buttons. This don't work. <laughs> Good luck to you, Shaq. We're Kiss glad to be here. Man. <laughs> What's up? What's up? How's everybody doing? Just want to get serious for me? <laughs> get on me, man. I don't want them to know. I am Shaq Stick. He cut me off and dressed me up. <laughs> How do you like me now? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna throw up. Hold on. No. Um. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is an opportunity for me to lay things plain. Okay? All right, this man right here has meant a lot to me over the years. All right? I was with him before Orlando in Newark. Anybody from Jersey? They didn't have no roaches in his house. Because his feet. Roaches were scared of the boy's feet. They didn't come out the cupboard at night. I ain't going out there. <laughs> Why? Shut feet. We used to go fishing when we were young. It was beautiful. We didn't even use fishing rods. Shaq would take off his shoe. <laughs> We walk up to the side of the stream. Shaq would throw his foot up in the air. Oh. 
Wah! Pull a fish right out the street. <laughs> but it ain't about all that tonight. <laughs> it ain't about all that catfish we ate and fried up. It ain't about that. All right? I'm very vexed about the laughing that's going on tonight. Oh. <laughs> you look vexed. I am vexed. It ain't about laughing at this man, it's about honoring him. Yeah. It's as simple as that. This man has done his. All right? Not only does he have a really big heart, but he got some big ass teeth. <laughs> I found out very early in life he came to my new apartment. I found out I didn't need a, I didn't need a can opener. He just started grabbing cans out of the cupboard. <laughs> about love. <laughs> and I think one of the most unique attributes of this man right here, he scared the hell out of my German Shepherd too. The only person that made my dog forget how to bark. <laughs> my dog saw his teeth. <laughs> he broke my damn dog. But there are two attributes, okay? Two very special and unique things about this man that I think are incredible, okay? And I'd like to show them to you now, if you don't mind. Ladies and gentlemen, Shaq Shoe Theater. successful and um, have changed towards me. It's <laughs> putting it mildly. Um, but he's consistent in his character. And that's the thing that I respect the most. And anything he ever wants from me, he get it just on the strength of that. So thanks for having me. <laughs> Unmasked Roaster of the Evening. <laughs> is sending a very special message to you. So please give it up for Moni. Hey, Shaq. How you doing, brother? You must know I am your biggest fan. And I don't care what they say about you on the free throw line. You are the man. You don't worry about that. You are MVP, most valuable player. And I mean player. See, they don't know how I know you. It ain't nobody's business how I know you. They tell me your feet, it's a size 22. I knew that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And you know what they say about brothers with big feet and big hands. They wear big shoes and big gloves. 
And in your case, you need to take them big hands and practice on your free throws. Shaq, I'm tired of defending you. I know you got the potential, Shaq. Use it, feel it, love it. When you get to that line, say to yourself, like the little engine that could, I think I can, I think I can. And then damn, you throw it up and you miss. What is that about, Shaq? What is that about? You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, I want you to feel the ball and feel the net. So Shackalicious, I say to you, continue on with your big feet and big hands and make some big free throws. Do it for me, Shaq. Do it for the kids. Do it for all of America. To you, I say, Shackalicious, I love you. Be strong and make a damn free throw. <laughs> Let me first say we thank and praise God that we've all made it here safely today. I uh, can truly say that Shaq, I met, before well, many of you all did, I met him when he was like in uh, LSU with uh, Brother Brown. And he used to ask me a lot of questions about health and nutrition. And uh, tonight when I walked in, he told me his foot is just about healed. And he knew I always travel with my little ginseng tube, so he asked me, did I have one? And I let him pop one. <laughs> and then I just realized a few minutes ago, I gave him my Viagra by mistake. <laughs> uh, so I don't know if what they've been saying about you is true, but um, we better get out of here. <laughs> For you white folks in here, I'm one of the few brothers that will admit I use Viagra. Yeah. Usually when you catch your brother buying it, he swear he buying it for a white boy, you know. Yeah. I use mine. In fact, always ask me questions about health. I remember um, he called me up and said, you know, how do you, how do you know when you're getting old? I'm using a lot of energy out here. It's simple, you just... Anytime someone compliment them beautiful alligator shoes you wear and, and you barefoot it. <laughs> you know you're getting old, right? Anytime you go to the train and the trainer say, I think you need an x-ray and they just hold you up to the light, you and I. And you really know you're getting old when your lady call you and say, hey, run upstairs, let's have a little sex. And you say, you know I can just do one or the other. <laughs> 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 now, a lot of things have happened since I met you in college. I didn't know you'd been in all them failed businesses. And <laughs> <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> let, me just, let me just say to you, my brother, We thank you for what you've been doing out here for the young folks. And hear me good. I don't know where you go when you leave this planet, but you go somewhere and there'll probably be a ledger. And in that ledger, there'll be no place for how many free throws did you make, or how much money did you make, or how short and how tall was you. Just simple questions. What did you do for my children? And did you smile a lot? I love you. Thank you.